Yeah, good afternoon and welcome back to NPTEL lecture series on classics in total synthesis part 1. And we have been discussing about uh, total synthesis of many alkaloids and today we also continue to discuss one more complex alkaloid called mansamine. So, mansamine uh, as you can see from here it is quite a complex molecule and it was isolated in 1986 from marine sponge called Okinawan sponge and from the structure one can easily make out uh, how many rings are there and how many chiral centers are there. It is a quite challenging molecule and uh, because of its complex molecular architecture uh, several groups were interested in the total synthesis and the first person to complete the total synthesis was uh, Jeffrey Winkler and today we will talk about uh, the total synthesis of mansamine by Winkler's group. After the isolation of mansamine there were 100 mansamine alkaloids uh, which were isolated from various species belonging to 8 different families and they generally show a very good activity against uh, malaria and as I mentioned uh, Winkler was the first one to report the total synthesis in 1998 and uh, there were other synthesis afterwards but today we will talk only about the total synthesis of mansamine by Winkler's group. So, this group uh, the retrosynthesis of uh, mansamine was based on 3 or 4 key reactions, 3 or 4 key reaction. The first key reaction was the Pictet Spengler reaction to construct this this ring ok, Pictet Spengler reaction ok. So, we will come to that uh, what is Pictet Spengler reaction and then the the second key reaction was uh, you know the cyclization and to form the macro cycle ok that is also uh, very important uh, from the size of the ring which is uh, being formed during the synthesis. And the third key reaction which is of course you know combination of 3-4 reaction is an intramolecular managed reaction you can see you have an imenium ion here ok and uh, anion generates here and then attacks and then neutralize the positive charge on the nitrogen which as you know it is a managed reaction this is an intramolecular managed reaction. And this is obtained this imenium ion is obtained by a series of uh, uh, rearrangement and that started from this cyclobutane ok. So, here it undergoes a retro managed reaction and followed by managed reaction ok. So, when I discuss the total synthesis you will know what exactly I mean ok. So, once you can see the cyclobutane the simplest reaction one can use to make cyclobutanes is a photochemical reaction. So, this can be disconnected into this compound where you have 2 double bonds and under suitable photochemical condition it should be possible to make the cyclobutane using intramolecular 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction. And this can be obtained from uh, uh, this enone ok and if you look at this carefully uh, this can be obtained from this bicyclic compound ok. So, these are the key fragments this is a fragment 1 or starting material I would say starting material 1 and starting material 2 in the synthesis of mansamine by Jeffrey Winkler ok. Now, as I said there are 3-4 key reactions which Winkler has used in the total synthesis of uh, mansamine. The one key reaction is the intramolecular 2 plus 2 cycloaddition which is also called De Mayo reaction one of the oldest reaction known in the literature uh, photochemical reaction known in the literature is this De Mayo reaction. Uh, carbon a commercially uh, available monoterpene can undergo an intramolecular 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction between this alkene and other alkene. One is electron rich other one is electron deficient and in fact under sunlight also this can undergo if you keep it for long time uh, to see these 2 plus 2 cycloaddition to take place ok. And the Pictet Spengler reaction is if you have phenyl ethyl amine ok. When this on treatment with aldehyde or protected aldehyde in the presence of acid it can undergo cyclization basically what you are doing is you are introducing the CH2 
or CH if you are using aldehyde ok. So, this is how one can cyclize ok, cyclize to form a 6 member ring ok. Now, let us see how the starting materials are prepared before we actually go into the, the complex total synthesis, how the starting materials are prepared for the complete synthesis. The first the pyridine nitrogen was benzylate ok, when pyridine nitrogen was benzylated it becomes quaternary ammonium salt ok. Then one can reduce this imenium with sodium borohydride. So, two such successive reaction one can remove two double bonds of pyridine ok. So, that leads to the formation of this allylic alcohol ok. So, very simple reaction first you have to benzylate followed by reduction of the successive imenium ions with sodium borohydride you get the corresponding alkene ok only one double bond is there. Now, he wanted to remove the benzyl and then protect it as a bog uh, for that he has to do a, a two step process first he treated with chloromethyl formate. So, what happens the lone pair on the nitrogen attacks the carbonyl and then chloride comes out first. So, this is the intermediate, this is the first intermediate the nitrogen attacking the carbonyl and chlorine coming out. Now, the chloride which comes out attacks the benzylic carbon, attacks the benzylic carbon and breaks the CN bond so that nitrogen will be now neutralized. So, in the process what happens the chloromethyl formate removes the benzyl group ok, removes the benzyl group as benzyl, benzyl chloride. So, now you have removed the benzyl at COTME, but as I said he wanted to protect the nitrogen as bark protecting group. So, again he treated with potassium hydroxide methanol and followed by a treatment with bark anhydride he could get N mark ok. So, the next step is to make this as a good leaving group as you know which should be converted into bromide or mesylate or tosylate or triplate so that an SN2 reaction can take place at that carbon. So, here the hydroxyl was converted into bromine using a standard triphenylphosphine bromine imidazole treatment. So, to get the corresponding allylic bromide ok. So, now one small fragment of manzamine is ready. Next how you can introduce the chiral center ok, how you can introduce the chiral center. So, for that he started with uh, pseudoephedrine ok. So, now this carbon has two acidic protons ok, one can treat with LDA of course, you need excess LDA because you have free hydroxyl group then quench with this allyl bromine ok. So, that is how you introduce this chiral center ok. So, now you could see one new chiral center has been introduced once the chiral center is introduced then you have to cleave the chiral auxiliary ok. So, cleaving the chiral auxiliary can be done and but before that the free NH2 should be protected. So, the NH2 was protected as allyl oxy carbonyl group this is called alloc, alloc is allyl oxy carbonyl group. So, the corresponding chloride you take and treat with base you get the NH protected as alloc protecting group. So, now as I said you remove the chiral auxiliary. Once you remove the chiral auxiliary you have the corresponding carboxylic acid. Now, if you look at this carefully this is a substituted amino acid is not it? This is a substituted amino acid, but unnatural it is not a naturally occurring compound it is an unnatural amino acid ok. So, now one fragment is ready what you do you convert that carboxylic acid convert that carboxylic acid into a Weindraub amide. So, why Weindraub amide is required because once you have Weindraub amide if you treat with the Grignard reagent or if you treat with reducing agents like LAH or Dibol you will get only corresponding aldehyde. If you treat with Grignard reagent you get corresponding ketone. So, here what they want was they wanted an aldehyde ok. For that once they made this Weindraub amide treatment with either Dibol or LAH gave the corresponding aldehyde ok. So, I have written this structure in I rotated this 180 degree. So, just I will leave it for a few seconds just to see this carefully ok. 
just I rotated this by 180 degree ok. So, here if this is alpha this is beta ok. Then once you have aldehyde then this long chain compound ok. A Wittig reaction was done on this aldehyde to get the corresponding cis alkene. So, this Wittig reagent can be easily prepared from the corresponding diol. So, if you have this diol ok what is this diol 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pentane diol if you have pentane diol you can selectively protect one of them as TBS ether ok. Then the other alcohol you convert it into bromide and then make the Wittig salt then you do this Wittig reaction ok. So, what is left now you have to do this uh, cyclization here mm, you have to do the cyclization here ok. So, for that first you have to remove the TBS group ok. So, the TBS group primary TBS was removed using PPTS methanol then converted that alcohol into a good leaving group that is tosylate ok. Now, sodium hydride and THF what happens this NH that is actually proton ok. So, sodium hydride will remove that proton. So, you form N minus that N minus will intramolecularly attack the carbon bearing tosylate. So, that SN2 reaction will give this ring ok. So, now we have made the bicyclic compound ok. You know we have to make two more rings ok. Once you made this that ala group the protecting group should be removed. So, that is normally done under palladium catalyst. So, tetrakis palladium uh, removes the allyl oxy carbonyl group. So, that is how we get the free bicyclic compound which is ready for further transformations ok. Now, the other fragment ok which is required for the for making the macro cycle that alkyne for that again he started from a diol ok you can see 1, 2, 3, 4 butane diol 1, 4 butane diol and the hydroxyl group one of the hydroxyl group was protected as THP ether and the other hydroxyl group was converted into bromide in two steps by treating with methyl chloride followed by lithium bromide ok. So, now this alkylating agent is ready. Then you have to start with the triple bond ok. So, the triple bond and the carboxylic acid this also can be easily made in few steps from known starting material. Now, if you treat with butyl lithium so more than 2 equivalents of butyl lithium is required one to generate anion here other to remove this proton. So, once you do that then quench with this halide ok. So, that will give you this long chain ok. Now, what you need the ester you have to that carboxylic acid you have to convert into ester. So, that was done by refluxing with methanol in the presence of uh, acid. So, now as I said the second fragment which you need is this alcohol. So, you the ester you treat with amine in the presence of trimethyl aluminum. So, this OME will be replaced with this compound ok. So, now you have got the Weindrup amide ok. So, if you see here the required compound has a triple bond and here you have the Weindrup amide. So, basically what you need is you need to add a triple bond to that. So, the simplest one is the corresponding acetylenic grignard ok. Acetylenic grignard in THF directly will give you the second fragment which is required for the total synthesis of Mansab. So, now we have these two fragments the next step is to carry out the intermolecular Michael addition reaction. So, you have the Michael acceptor and here you have the nucleophile. So, intermolecular Michael reaction takes place first and that gives you this product that is the one which is ready for intramolecular DMAO reaction that is 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction. So, you can see when you looked at mansamine 
the molecule was looking very very complex isn't it so you disconnect the molecule in such a way that you got into two simple fragments once you have these two simple fragments what you have done you are doing now an intramolecular intermolecular michael reaction intermolecular michael addition gives you the precursor for the photochemical reaction once you have that carry out the intramolecular 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction that gives this intermediate and this intermediate actually it does not stop there you don't get this intermediate you don't isolate what happens as i mentioned when i talked about retrosynthesis it undergoes a retro managed fragmentation so that means you can see this lone pair comes here and opens up the opens a cyclobutane to give this product okay the lone pair opens the lone pair on the nitrogen opens the cyclobutane to give this intermediate now what will happen the o minus o minus can directly neutralize the iminium ion okay the enolate can neutralize the iminium ion okay if that takes place what you will get is this tetracyclic compound okay but what you want is not this okay what you want is cyclization at this between this carbon and this carbon so how to do again you have to open up again you have to open up this amino how do you do you treat with pyridine and acetic acid when you do that again it opens up okay when it opens up this becomes the bottom portion becomes iminium ion and the top is keto okay just i will leave this for few seconds because it is important for you to visualize what happened this became ketone okay this became ketone and the whole side chain the whole side chain i have brought it down okay the whole side chain i have brought it down okay you can see whole side chain i have brought it down now once the iminium ion is formed then you can see it can generate enolate on this side as well as the other side okay if it generates on the top that will give you a four membered ring if it undergoes intramolecular managed reaction understand if this undergoes intramolecular managed reaction it will give back the original 2 plus 2 cycloaddition product but if this undergoes intramolecular managed reaction that will give you six membered ring which is actually required for manzanil so between four membered and six membered which one will be favored the six membered will be favored so that is what happens and that managed reaction gives rise to the required six membered ring so now if you look at this intermediate carefully so what we have done so we have used say a 2 plus 2 cycloaddition retro managed reaction followed by managed reaction to construct the six membered ring so four rings are made now what is left is we have to connect these two this nitrogen and this carbon we have to connect then we have to introduce the heterocycle here okay let us see one by one how we introduce or how we form this macrocycle so the primary alcohol you can protect it as tbs and before that what is important is you also have to introduce a hydroxyl group you need to introduce a hydroxyl group here okay how will you introduce a hydroxyl group okay one you can straight away treat with base you can straight away treat with base and then treat with uh, you know mcpba there are many methods to introduce hydroxyl group but at the same time you also have to introduce an aldehyde here then only you can introduce the the heterocycle on the top okay so what he did so he treated with lithium hexamethyl disulfide which will generate enolate here okay it will generate enolate here and then quench with manders reagent manders reagent is a reagent 
which is used for introducing ester group, ester group next to ketone. So, the ester was stereoselectively introduced ok. Then as I said you also have to introduce a hydroxyl group here. You have ketone and you have an ester and then keto group can be easily reduced in the presence of ester. Sodium borate will reduce ketone to alcohol that alcohol can be converted into mesylate and mesylate you know is a good leaving group that can be on treatment with base can be converted into that double bond. So, now when you do that obviously you will get a mixture of alkenes one is the alpha beta and saturated ester which, which is obvious the other one the beta gamma and saturated ester ok both eliminations are possible ok. But what is what is required is this one because you need to introduce a hydroxyl group here that means you should try to explore the functionalization of this double bond. How do you do? Now you isomerize the alpha beta unsaturated ester to the beta gamma unsaturated ester then treat with MCBPA that MCBPA will give the corresponding alpha epoxy. Now it is very easy the ester one can generate enolate here is not it. Then the enolate can open the epoxy. So, what you will get is a double bond as well as a hydroxyl group at gamma position. Yeah, so, sodium ethoxide here acts as a base and then opens the epoxide and that is how you introduce the hydroxyl group ok. Then as I said now it is time to construct the macrocycle. So, first you have to remove the TBS group, the TBS group can be removed with any fluoride source. So, TBAF removes the TBS group to get the corresponding alcohol, then the alcohol can be converted into a good leaving group ok. So, you treat with tosyl chloride, so alcohol is converted into the corresponding tosylate ok. Then what needs to be done? is to remove the bark. So, bark can be easily removed if you use uh, trifluoroacetic acid and you get the corresponding amine then treatment with base ok like Hunix base diisopropyl ethylamine will facilitate the intramolecular cyclization. So, now if you look at this compound we have made pentacyclic compound ok. So, now if you look at this compound they have made the pentacyclic compound. So, what is now required is to attach the indole and form the required 6 membered ring. Before that you you have a triple bond ok. The triple bond in manzamine is a double bond. So, you one can easily reduce the triple bond in the presence of double bond using Lindler catalyst condition ok. Lindler's, Lindler's catalyst reduces the triple bond to cis double bond. Then you treat this ester with dibol to get the primary alcohol and then oxidize with DMP to get corresponding aldehyde. Now you know you can recall if why we need aldehyde was as I mentioned one of the key reactions in the total synthesis of manzamine is picted Spengler reaction is not it. So, you have all you for that you need aldehyde and then what you need for manzamine synthesis is this amine. So, you have indole you have CH2, CH2, NH2 ok. So, now with this if you, if you do the picted Spengler reaction by treating with trifluoroacetic acid what happen you will get the corresponding 6 membered ring ok. Now, what needs to be done? in the total synthesis of manzamine. Now, everything is there, everything is there. You have the core 5 rings, then you also introduce the heterocycle, but this particular ring is also aromatic, this particular ring also aromatic. That means you have to oxidize or you have to aromatize this compound. So, the best way to do is take this compound and then treat with DDQ ok. So, DDQ will aromatize 
that particular ring to get the pyridine ring ok what you need is a pyridine ring here. So, that is how the total synthesis of manzamine was complete. So, if you look at this total synthesis of manzamine reported by Winkler there are a few key reactions one the 2 plus 2 cycloaddition, second sequential retromanage followed by manage reaction sequential retromanage followed by manage reaction the retromanage actually opened the cyclobutane ring and the next manage reaction converted that into a 6 membered ring then we had the spiked spingler reaction to construct the pyridine ring from indole ethyl amine okay so thank you